What's going on guys, it's Quizzy Dog here, and in today's very quick video, we're actually just gonna go ahead and showcase the Hisense U8G or U88G successfully utilizing VRR or variable refresh rate on the Xbox Series X on the new beta build M0422, if I'm not mistaken, with the local dimming enabled. Now, of course, I've done a lot of content in the past on this Hisense TV, and one thing that keeps standing out video after video after video within the comments itself would be whether or not you can get the variable refresh rate working with the local dimming and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it now of course we have fortnite running here we're going to go into the menu and pop back out you can see in the top left hand corner we have the variable refresh rate enabled so we can see that everything's functioning. Now, if we go back into the menu system and go into picture, into backlight, of course, this is not grayed out. This is working right now. And just to prove it to you guys, if you turn off local dimming, you can see a change. If we set it to high, you can see a change. I like mine on medium. It's a nice little punch, a nice little in-between with the blowouts that you get sometimes with high. So medium is what I personally use. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get this functional. So on the TV itself, the biggest thing that you have to do when you come into the actual picture settings themselves is you have to make sure in the advanced settings all the way to the bottom that you do have FreeSync turned off. Now, I know what you're gonna say. You need FreeSync to use variable refresh rate and you don't and I'm gonna prove it to you. So if we go out of this menu here, and we go back into the main Xbox dashboard itself, we're going to jump into the settings and this is where the magic happens. So if we come into settings and you come into TV and display options, of course, we have the 4K UHD with the 120 Hertz. Now, if you come into video modes here, what you're gonna see is allow variable refresh rate. And the most important thing to look at here is actually on the right hand side where it says that VRR, um, the little description, this eliminates screen stuttering and tearing during gameplay on TVs that support either HDMI VRR, so that is the HDMI grade or HDMI level uh, variable refresh rate that's built into HDMI 2.1 or AMD FreeSync Premium Pro technologies. So this is just to show you guys and to showcase that HDMI level VRR or variable refresh rate and FreeSync are essentially the same thing, but two different technologies. Now, of course, the Xbox itself and this TV itself, they don't support G-Sync, so that's why you're not seeing a disclaimer about it there. But having this turned on and then going into your settings, going into your picture profile, and then coming all the way down here to advanced settings, as long as you have the FreeSync turned off specifically, that's turning off the FreeSync handshake between the console and the TV, but that is allowing the variable refresh rate built into HDMI 2.1 to function. Now, of course, we're gonna see the 120 Hertz locked there in the top left-hand corner. That's, of course, because we're not in a game right now, so the TV has no problem running the locked 120 frames. Now, if we come back into Fortnite, let's say, we're gonna open up this game, and here again, you're going to see if we pop into the settings and then back out, we have that variable refresh rate working. So, I'm going to hopefully point to this video when I get these questions in the future about how to utilize variable refresh rate with the local dimming on. Uh, the other thing to mention as well, again, I am on build M0422. This is an OTA update that should be hitting these TVs very shortly. This is a successful derivative off of the beta 0414. And if we come in here, we already took a look at the local dimming functioning but let's go ahead and let's pop into the advanced again, because another thing that wasn't working on the M0210, if I'm not mistaken, I've done a lot of these videos, was the active contrast. Now you can see active contrast when set to high, when set to medium, when set to off, it is functional and it is working. So on this specific build of the software, 
we are seeing the active contrast, we are seeing the variable refresh rate, and we are seeing the local dimming all functioning together, which is great to see. So if you're having a hard time getting the 120 Hertz working with variable refresh rate, specifically on the Xbox Series X, these are the steps, these are the settings that you need to utilize. If it's not working for you, if let's say the backlight is still grayed out, let's say the active contrast isn't working, there are some lingering concerns with some of the old beta softwares or some of the old OTA officially released softwares. If you're experiencing those concerns, try a factory refresh on your TV. It has helped a lot of people. You can also reach out to Hisense directly to see if it might be possible to get one of these software updates sent to you early via USB. And if you want to know how to install those USB variants of the software, I will have a video linked in the video description that I published last week, if I'm not mistaken, that shows you exactly how to go about putting the software on a USB key and installing that manually onto your panel. Do this at your own discretion. I do have warnings and disclaimers within that video production as well, but I do this stuff to help you guys out. I will be focusing at some point on other content in the future as well. I do have hardware coming in for some other video showcases, but specifically with the Hisense content, it will keep coming because the community of course continues to ask for it. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. I have enabled these super thanks as well. So if you guys want to test that out, be one of the first to do so on the channel. The option is down there under this video and share this video as well to anybody that you feel may benefit from these steps. Until my next video, my name is Crazy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.